Ja. Well, this is the content of my presentation today. We will have some introduction about what is online meeting and about the platform which we are planning to use. Then once we decide to have online meeting, how the club leaders should plan for it and then during the meeting as well after the meeting. We will also discuss, discuss about basic tools in the application which the host as well as the members should be aware about it. Also, let's touch upon basic etiquettes that makes the great online meeting experience for all the members. The whole presentation, I'm just expecting around 40 to 45 minutes and we will have the Q&A session at the end. Well, I think somebody is using the pencil and uh, mocking on that. Okay, what is basically virtual meeting or online meeting? Instead of having a face-to-face -face meeting, if you are meeting through a common software or uh, any application, that's called online meeting or virtual meeting. Few minutes back when I was discussing with our district director, DTM Raghavan, he said, let us use the term online meeting not virtual meeting and let us continue to use the same word all across our district. So let us use online meeting instead of virtual meeting. In an online meeting, you can exchange your audio or video or both and share the real time data and um, without being physically together. That's all about online meeting. What we are doing today is an example of such online meeting. If you look at the, uh, the online meetings, it has its own benefits and the disadvantages. One of the important benefit is location is never considered as a concern. No matter where are you, you can still connect and have a meeting through the technologies available. And it saves uh, a good amount of money compared to organizing the physical meeting and it's convenience for the members to attend be it in you be in office or in home you can still attend the meeting and it helps to reduce the carbon footprint think about this particular webinar we have now 100 members attending this uh, webinar if the same event has to be organized physically uh, imagine uh, you need to arrange a, a venue all 100 people should use their vehicle and uh, uh, travel to attend this event we need to arrange a parking and we need to arrange a tea, coffee, drinking water. Altogether, if you look at, uh, it's going to reduce the, uh, you know, the CO2 emission or a carbon footprint we can save. Yeah. Another important advantage is it caters the need during the emergencies. Look at the situation now. Take the example of current situation. We cannot meet personally. So in this situation, the online meetings helps in a bigger way, bigger way. At the same time, whenever, whatever may be the advantage, there are something that you cannot compare with the physical meetings. Isn't it? The, uh, the personal connection and bonding that's always missing in the, you know, we will miss in the online meeting. And there is a limitation for speakers, especially the body language, expression and stage movement you cannot uh, demonstrate in the online meetings. The same, uh, the limitation for the evaluations also on the evaluators also. And uh, the, the multitasking by the attendees. Uh, what I mean by multitasking is the lack of concentration by the attendees uh, in the online meeting. Recently, I was going through one of these statistics uh, conducted by the survey conducted by one of the, uh, the virtual meeting platform, uh, the, the company. It says during the virtual meeting, around 40 percentage of the attendees will be doing multitasking 60 percentage of the time of the uh, the online meeting when i say that the multitasking they will mute themselves and they will be talking to somebody and they may be eating something it happens isn't it i'm not sure how many of you are doing the multitasking now finally the important thing we miss in the virtual meeting is the club experience fun networking 
that's a core principle of the toastmasters isn't it that we will be missing in the online meeting however however uh, let's see how best we can use the technology to have a good meeting experience through online when we talk about the uh, the online meeting the first thing when you decide that you want to have an online meeting yeah uh, you need to plan for it when i say planning just a second when i say planning it starts from selecting the online platform and uh, sign up yourself into the platform schedule a meeting and share the meeting link with the agenda let's see one by one what do you mean by select the online platform there are thousands of online platforms are available free uh, services are available um, in the market uh, and each one is having its own uh, the benefit and the disadvantage to say few you, you know in this particular uh, region go to meeting webex office 365 or even the hangout is popular and whereas today we are going to talk about only the zoom application how we can utilize this particular platform for our club meetings and all our toastmasters meeting and the corporate clubs if you have any specific online platforms used in your company you can use that particular platform for having the online meeting instead of going for zoom to do two important reason uh, why i am selecting zoom as a platform is uh, number one, it's giving you an unlimited free option uh, for having a meeting within 40 minutes. And another one is all the tools are very simple and even the uh, non-techie guy can also uh, can easily understand and use the platform in a better way. As I said, all the tools are having its own, the positive and the negative side. It's up to the individual who are comfortable with which application we can use. Well, uh, when I say sign up, the number one, if we decide that we are going to use the Zoom application, we need to first register. We need to register. Uh, the, uh, up, the website for the Zoom is www.zoomus, uh, where you can sign up with your basic informations like uh, your name and the organization name and user id password it's a very simple process once you are done with that you will get the user id and password then you need to log in into the system when you log in and uh, you can have an opportunity I mean, uh, uh, the option of having the pro pro system the limitation with the free version is that you can uh, use it for un unlimited meetings but it is only uh, for 40 minutes more than 40 minutes you cannot have a uh, meeting you need to break the meeting and you can you have to again continue the meeting whereas in the pro option uh, it's it's coming up with just 15 dollar per month for unlimited meetings uh, in reality if you look at it for the Qatar real it's costing only 55 reals per month and you can have unlimited meeting compared to our uh, the physical meeting uh, in Qatar, average uh, club meetings are happening. You know, and the expenditure would be from 200 real to 700 real. People are spending. Uh, in comparison to that, we can save a lot of money. And it is, I suggest, all the clubs should have one the pro version. However, I'm sharing this information for you uh, only for information and understanding. If anyone wants to use the district ID, you can approach me. Then I can help you to use. Uh, the uh, district uh, the uh, license to use your, for your club meetings so once you select the online platform and you sign up the next thing as a part of planning is schedule a meeting how you can schedule a meeting is once you logged into the the, the application this is going to be the home page this is how the home page looks like and uh, on the top of that you can see that uh, schedule a meeting you need to just click that and the left hand side what you are seeing is a, the uh, main headers like profile meetings webinars recordings and settings on the top you can see the schedule meeting join meeting and host meeting if you click a schedule meeting it will take you 
to a page where you need to in the feed the basic information about the uh, meetings. For example, I have filled the information like uh, uh, ABC Toastmaster Club meeting number 120. Yeah? And uh, you need to select the date, which date you are going to have a meeting and which time it is going to start. It is a starting time, for example, 7 o'clock, 7 p.m. is a starting time. And the duration, duration, how many hours this meeting is going to happen. And you can select two hours or three hours, one hour. If you're using the pro version, it doesn't matter how many hours you're selecting. You can still continue. The meeting will not interrupt. And it's important to select the time zone. Uh, you need to select the Qatar, uh, the standard time. Why? Because uh, people may be attending from the different part of the world and people may be at, uh, I mean, a different uh, time zone. So for them, it will be easy when they select the link and they will, it will show their actual time. And the next one is you can look at the recurring meeting. In case if a club is uh, planning to have a meeting on every Saturday or every second Saturday, we can make as a recurring meeting and you can mention that it is going to have every, we are going to have every Saturday. So we can use the same meeting link for every meeting. You don't need to create a, or schedule a meeting every time. That's the purpose of having the recurring meeting. The another selection, if you look at the, the right hand side, you can show actually this is a single page. Since the page is a bit lengthy, I've just made a screenshot and made it into three. Look at the registration. If you need a registration process, you can select required. Uh, personally, I will say for the Toastmasters meeting, club meeting, it is not required. Unless you don't want to complicate yourself, you can select that required because if you select the registration required, what happens is the members who are selecting the link will get a page where they need to enter the basic information like their name, their contact number, email ID. What happens is that after they are registering, they will get a notification to their email ID, personalized the meeting access link. Only through that link, they will be getting into the, they will be able to access the meeting. So for the normal meeting, I suggest don't select the registration. And the next one is meeting ID. You select by, def by default, it will be uh, generated automatically. Leave it as it is, don't select anything. And next one is meeting password. If you want to restrict the members to have uh, with the password to enter, you can select that and the, by default, it will show some password. That password, you can share with your members. Uh, if you're openly announcing the password, I don't suggest to select it because I've seen uh, uh, some uh, meetings, uh, meeting ID and password is you know uh, populated in widely. There's no, it, it's, it kills the purpose of uh, having the meeting password. So I suggest really if you want to restrict the members, if you want to have any confidential meeting so that no one enters suddenly, you can have the password. Otherwise you just leave it open. And the video options, you just leave it by default off off and the anyhow, even if it is on also, you can control it before starting the meeting. Similarly for the audio, you select both because people can connect through mobile, people can connect through the landline number, people can connect through the computer audio, your system or mobile audio. So better to select both. And the uh, other options which will be coming at uh, the is like you know, enable join before the host like uh, these things are just an uh, add on service. If you want to click, you can click it. Otherwise, you can just skip it. Just save it. By doing that, what happens is you are completing the uh, sh meeting schedule. Okay. Now, what you are seeing, we have identified the platform. You signed up, then you scheduled a meeting. The next is sharing the meeting link with the members. How you are going to invite the members for the meeting, isn't it? That's the next step of your planning. When you get into your uh, your uh, uh, the application homepage, on the left hand side you can see your profile, meetings, webinar, recordings, and sitting. If you click the meetings meetings, you can see what are all the meetings under your login you have scheduled. For example, if you look at there are one, two, three, four meetings are uh, in my license. I have scheduled. Look at the bottom ABC Toastmasters Club meeting 120. That is a, a meeting I have registered for the sample purpose for the testing. If you click that link, it will take you to the another page where you can see the meeting link. 
there are two ways of sharing inviting the members for the meeting number one directly invite them through your calendar invitation if you click the google calendar if you see that add to google calendar if you select that what happens is automatically your google um, calendar will open the time what you have set up will automatically you know fixed in your, in your calendar and uh, you can share that calendar to your members like how i did today i was shared with all the club offices of uh, all clubs in qatar this meeting request with through invitation they might have received through google calendar yeah they can just accept it or say no there's one way of communicating the uh, the meeting invitation and you can attach the agenda also along with that the next uh, the uh, way of uh, communicating or inviting members is just select that url select that uh, the link and copy in your mailbox copy in your whatsapp copy in your uh, the uh, social media page so you can write your message attach the meeting agenda and communicate it's another way of communicating or inviting members for the meeting yeah by doing that you are completing successfully you are you are sharing the meeting link and agenda to the members so um we have seen seen that uh, how to select the online platform and sign up schedule a meeting and sharing the meeting link with agenda with this you are completing the the first step that is planning for a meeting online meeting what next next is before the meeting when i say before the meeting that starts from once you release the agenda and the meeting link to before starting the meeting that is just 10 15 minutes before uh, you, you know uh, get into the meeting room that's called before the meeting what you should do it's a responsibility of the host the technical word i'm using here is a host it can be either the toastmaster of the day or it can be any other independent toastmasters of your club you can be education or a club president or a certain from anyone who is comfortable in handling the IT system and be made as a host. There's no any hard rule. Club can take a call on that. What they're supposed to do before start, you know, once they release the agenda to before starting the meeting. Get the presentation from the speakers, if any. Some of the speakers may be having slides some um, role players maybe have having some slides get that and keep it with you prepare an introduction slide for each speaker like name role speech title not only for the speaker even the role players we can do that this is not a mandatory one but it helps to have a, a good interaction with the uh, the attendees and we can make the experience good and keep that in that in the system. As a host, log into the meeting 15 to 20 minutes early. This is very, very important. Uh, why? Because uh, as a host, you need to log in well in advance so that you can receive the members uh, and the members feel that yes, somebody is there to host me. Like, you know, for example, when you stepped into this particular webinar, you've seen the, uh, the home screen, right? Welcome. You feel, okay, some, someone is already there to welcome me that feeling members should have and uh, similarly i encourage personally whoever the host should use their laptop or computer to host the event don't rely on mobile phones uh, to play the role of host yeah and check your audio and video settings uh, i would say rather even uh, not only 15 20 minutes even 30 minutes before log into the system and uh, open the meeting open the window uh, available for members to enter and check your audio and video settings this is very very important assign someone as co-host i will tell the reason why it's very important in the upcoming slides assign someone as a co-host set the poll questions such as best speaker evaluators well in advance because once you start the meeting online meeting you cannot do set any questions in the poll or survey you need to plan it well in advance before starting the meeting what kind of questions you are going to ask with the audience or, or members or uh, 
uh, any kind of a survey like a best speaker and evaluator as i said okay you should fix it everything before so that you can run the poll during the meeting similarly for the members or attendees i can say uh, you what you need to do is keep your presentation ready if you have any presentation as a backup keep it with you though you have sent to the uh, the host you also should have with your system and, the, and keep it ready and join the meeting 10 minutes early and check your audio and video setting this is again i'm telling this is very very important no matter how many times um, you are testing and uh, how much comfortable you are with the it system or the technology it's really important to join the meeting well in advance because I, I personally seen whatever the technology is last moment on the d day you will have some issue some audio will not work system will hang you need to restart so it will unnecessarily delay the process of you join the meeting so always join the meeting well in advance at least minimum 10 minutes well we have seen to plan the plan for the meeting another one is uh, before starting the meeting what are the readiness you should make sure and the next next is to conduct the meeting to conduct the meeting i made four important sequence one is login as a host host should first log in second thing check your audio and video settings and third one wait for members to join and welcome them and fourth one start the meeting as per the agenda let's look at how it works how you need, you can start the meeting as a host when you log into your uh, the application user id using using the user id and password this is the home page as i said in the home page on the left hand side meetings if you select you can see the list of meetings in your um, your system or in your login for example abc toastmaster club seven o'clock meeting has to start it's maybe 6 30 you need to just click the button start which is on the right hand side you can see the red colored one by clicking that what happens is you are just opening the window of meeting room for the members to get into yeah this is going to be the like a home screen typical home screen for the host uh, can view that now you have successfully opened the meeting window for members to enter and there are some basic tools that every host if you are hosting a meeting uh, you should aware about that on the left hand side what you have marked is uh, check your audio this is for the audio and then uh, the next to that it's an your camera that video that's video before joining the meeting make sure that next to that mute button the, sorry the mic button you can see an arrow mark you can click that and there is a uh, option called check your audio and video you can click that audio and you can speak something others cannot listen but you can check yourself similarly whatever you're speaking and there will be a test or uh, no, uh, voice will be generated you can test okay is it audible or not you can adjust your volume according to that these are the settings you need to do well in advance at least as i said 20 to 30 minutes before the meeting well you are done with your settings you are ready for the meeting members will be joining now now you need to welcome them through the chat box or open your audio welcome them informally And the basic tools the facilitator should always aware is these are the basic tools on the top what you are seeing is a three option like join audio uh, generally when you are using the laptop or computer use the computer audio and use your headphone and uh, you can test the audio as i said if you click the arrow next to that uh, mute i mean a mic button you can test your audio audio and the second that the icon what you are seeing is share by clicking that what happens is whatever open windows in your system will open for example you have a presentation you have a word file you have a, your mail inbox everything will open you can select which one you want to share with the members if it is a presentation you need to select the presentation that presentation will be uh, displayed to all the members and the third icon what you are seeing is invite others so if you want to invite somebody you can directly invite from here you click the invite button uh, put the email IDs of the people and what they will receive a notification saying that meeting is going to start There is an invitation uh, Venkat has invited you for so and so meeting and along with the meeting link and The bottom what you're seeing on the black uh, the toolbar. This will be the uh, Default toolbar will be for all the members as well as for the host uh, I've discussed about the audio and video coming to the right hand side uh, the invite uh, the icon 
which you can select that's for inviting the members the next is manage participants uh, one of the important uh, the role for the facilitator is to manage the participants what you need to do is if you click the icon manage participants, like you know there's a one number is showing that means there is only one number when i was clicking the the selection there was only one number for today's meeting now we have 100 member 100 people are attending this webinar when you click that what happens is the entire list of members who are participating in the meeting will be displayed that just to see who are all attending and the next one is the poll this is the one to use now if you want to conduct any survey you just click that uh, whatever the pre-defined questions will come you can open the poll so the members can answer the next one the green color the icon is a share it, it is the same of the what is the icon what we are seeing in the top like center of the the top uh, image if you click that all the applications will open in your system whatever uh, are already open and you can select which application you want to share be it a presentation word file or an image or an email anything you can share from your computer the next one is the chat you can inf you know uh, chat with the members uh, individually as well as the, you can send up you know uh common communication to all the members who are attending the event yeah and i see a uh, share that these are the options available which the host should always aware about it uh see now uh, i am the host for the meeting i made uh toastmaster pavitra as a co-host and both of us having the rights to share any screen so i am sharing my screen now we can also allow uh the all the participants also to share the screen when i select that what happens is all the members will be the the attendees will have the rights to share uh, it's to have a better control uh, limit with only with the host and whenever uh, a member wants to uh, present something we can give access to them similarly the last the image icon what you're seeing is uh, records when you select that the it will ask you some questions i mean the the menu will be uh, uh, coming out where you can select you want to record the meetings uh, through cloud or in your personal computer you can select whatever comfortable you are well uh, now members have come into the meeting you need to start the meeting what you have to do as a host as i said in the beginning you need to assign someone as a host why because when you are a host you will be busy with uh, uh you know coordinating with all the members who is coming next and you'll be announcing so you'll be busy with that and there will be always uh, some members will be asking questions even now if you look at there are 100 uh, people are attending this event there are a lot of people are you know texting message you know my audio is not working and uh, all this question will be how i can record people will be keep throwing questions to answer those queries we need to engage co-host he will be he or she will be busy with that and uh, to mute unmute the concerned speakers the co-host can take a lead similarly take a control if host had any technical issues as i said in the uh, earlier no matter how much you prepare especially uh, when using the technology you'll also have a, always have a problem a high possibility you will have a problem at the last uh, moment in case the host had any problem um, technically his audio is not working his slide is not working suddenly internet has gone out in his room so what uh, co-host can do is he can take charge he or she can take a charge and uh, start continuing the meeting until he or she joins host can join yeah and start recording the meeting preferably cloud recording uh, the reason why i'm saying cloud recording is uh, sometimes if you're saving the uh, recording into your uh, personal or uh, your uh, hard disk even your system uh, if you don't have a proper I mean, a sufficient memory it can stop in between or if you have any uh, if the system hang the whole recording can stop or if the recording hangs the whole system can also hang so better to use the cloud recording so that it is convenient you can download anytime you can directly share the link with the members after the meeting yeah Follow the agenda and unmute the concern to speak. Uh, it is like a personal, the one-to-one -one meeting, like, you know, when, when you are gathered together, when we are conducting the Toastmaster meeting, how we are going to conduct the meeting. The same way only we are going to have a meeting online also. 
uh, you are a host basically you will be looking into only the technical aspects sajinda tom will open the meeting and start the meeting and once sajinda tom is over uh, no uh, finish his uh, introduction he can he or she can hand over to the president and uh, the, what host can do is you can just do the role of muting the sajinda tom and unmuting the uh, president yeah agree upon the responsibilities this is very important generally these are the common mistakes we do in an online meeting who will mute unmute before and after the speech sometimes we give the rights to uh, the speaker uh, uh, themselves okay after the speech you can unmute yourself or before the speech uh, you can unmute yourself when we giving the rights you allow them to do you don't get into that and you also do if you start doing that what happens there will be a confusion and it will delay the process and the, the meeting experience would be that much what we are expecting yeah similarly for these slide controls if you are using any slides i uh, you need to agree upon with the uh, speaker either host can display the screen give a control to the member he can only control otherwise we can give the both the screen sharing option as well the control options to the speaker so that the uh, whichever the speakers are comfortable yeah uh, same process as i said introduce the guests and new members before starting the meeting that is the responsibility of uh, the uh, president uh, this is how you can select uh, see the uh, list of participants in the meeting yeah if you want to mute anyone have a control you take the mouse over that particular speaker or uh, sorry that uh, participant's name and you can see you want to mute or unmute you can select that and you can make them as co-host everything is possible for the host you can just take the mouse over the uh, participant name you can control them well similarly for the uh, screen sharing it's very important when you want, when you are sharing a screen uh, whenever you are sharing a screen what happens is uh, the moment you share the screen you were uh, the toolbar will go to the top recently it happened uh, a week ago there was one meeting a meeting was happening i was helping them to conduct the uh, online meeting the meeting is ongoing the moment the host shared the screen and uh, the, he was you know, struggling to find the toolbar because he was using the toolbar at the bottom the moment you share the screen the toolbar will go to the top if you want to have a, any control it, you need to you know take the mouse to the top the toolbar will come down and uh, there will be a couple of uh, the the same toolbar but there will be a couple of uh, the icons will be added controls will be added into these this particular toolbar like you can see uh, pause share by clicking that you will be stopping i mean pausing the the, the the whatever the slide you are sharing that will be on hold and you can do uh, if you, as a host if you want to do something in your computer you can do that and if you want to stop sharing you can select that stop sharing that the default page will be displayed the moment you select it stop sharing and the other uh, uh, options like uh, annotate that that's basically uh, to write something for example you know somebody is doing already i don't know like if you want to select uh, draw something like this yeah if you want to make some uh, uh, write something on this slide so the members can see that for that purpose this annotator is used and another option what you're seeing is a remote control the remote control is for the slide control you can uh, share the screen but you can give the control to the speaker so that the speaker you don't need to he don't need to say that can you move this you know, next slide you know sometimes it happens like uh, when you don't have a control the speaker will say uh, okay can you change this slide now you don't need to do that control will be with you you can keep changing the slide once your speech is over you can hand over the control to the host host will again uh, you know unmute and mute you and take the control back yeah this i have already discussed no uh, like about the sharing options well during and after the speeches there are few uh, important steps that we need to uh, be aware about that number one is during the project speeches um uh, now for this webinar i have told everyone to who switch off your camera whereas in the uh, club meeting you may ask everyone to switch on the camera so that you can see the members and speak 
what happens for example 20 member 20 to 25 uh, member is at members are attending the meeting so all the 25 members for the the uh, uh, camera will be on and there we can we can see all those 25 uh, members faces uh, that is called a gallery view i will just explain what is gallery view and speakers view on the left hand side what you are seeing is a gallery view basically if 20 30 members are attending the meeting all we can see all 30 members face that's called gallery view uh, whenever you are discussing a uh, general stuffs you can keep the gallery view when a member is speaking or a project speech is given what you should do is you can pin that particular speaker and timer who were uh, playing a role of timer by doing this what happens is right hand side you can see the screen this is how it looks during the speech delivery one speak uh, one of the member will deliver the speech and another member will be a timer he or she can carry the color cards and uh, she can show the, the color card so that member will the speaker will come to know that about the timing and the it, it is a speaker so even the other members can just look at uh, the concert on the speech yeah And after the speech, uh, you know that, okay, all of them will be in a muted condition when, uh, when a member is speaking. And once the speech is over, and uh, in a normal meeting, a conventional meeting, we all upload, right, to appreciate the member. You cannot feel that. So instead of that, to have a better meeting experience, you can just, you know, uh, uh, express it by, you know, thumbs up or a clapping, you know, action. All these things will add values to have a better meeting experience. Similarly, run the poll for selecting the best speaker. When you need to do is, you need to do that immediately after finishing one segment, for example. I'll just show how it works. Uh, the, the moment you click the poll, for example, launch poll. I believe now all of you can see uh, some kind of uh, screen on your yeah this is how it works you can just randomly select can you select uh, this is how the, the polling works you can give some time for one you know 30 seconds for the members to select the best speaker once you're done with that you can end the poll and immediately you can share the results also this is how uh, you know it works you can see now the speaker won won the best speaker award done so i can stop sharing the results yeah good well, what's next after the meeting you are conducting the meeting as per the agenda once the meeting is over uh, uh once the president uh, you know closes the meeting thank all and end the meeting as a president uh, you uh, he or she can appreciate the host who conducted the meeting after that you can download and share the link of the entire meeting recordings what we were doing to the members and social media how you can do is you log into the page usually if you are uh, storing you know recording into the um, cloud i've seen within an hour you will get that link it takes you know one or two hours to get that link after the meeting after one hour if you log in uh, into the your application on the left hand side you can see the recordings click that recordings you can see whatever the recordings we have done through your uh, applications like you know this was the last uh, the recordings i have done with my application with my user id on the right hand side there is an option called share you click that link and that link you can share with the members social media you can upload into the website you can upload into the uh, youtube and you can share with the members everything is possible yeah i don't know someone is using the uh, uh, one like that. okay basic features that every member who is attending the webinar uh, sorry the online meeting should know is number one test the meeting link in your system or phone well in advance you can attend the meetings by your mobile or ipad 
or your uh, computer or your laptop it's up to you but make sure that you are testing that uh, if your host or a vp education shares the meeting link at least the immediately you receive the link you just test that in your system so that the system will download the required application or the backups into your system if you are using uh, in your mobile phone for the first time you need to download the application called the zoom no matter whichever the application if you are using a go to meeting you can you need to download the application go to meeting in your mobile then only it will uh, enable you to attend the meeting through your mobiles or mo mobile phones another thing is don't be anonymous with your name like uh, today galaxy 123 or abcd be visible with your actual name why i'm saying this is practically when you are conducting a meeting a president wants to introduce the guest if your name is there a president may be able to see the face but uh, no he don't remember the name uh, better to have the uh, name also actual name so that it is good for the members to recognize you and know the uh, basic tools how to operate like mute unmute rise lower your hand using the chat room these are the very basic things once you attend a meeting for once you will be you know comfortable by using all these things look at the left hand side this image this is how i have shown you the screen of uh, muting unmuting yourself usually in the if you select the list of participants your name will be in the top of that the next will be the host your name whoever whatever may be the, your name your name will display in the top so you can mute unmute any time second thing is uh, the uh, how to use the chat room if you select the chat chat option where uh, there is an option for you to give a communication to share a communication to everyone or you can select an individual member and you can start having a conversation yeah. and this is how i said you test your the test speaker sorry the uh, Test speaker in the sense, not a typical Toastmaster test speaker. Uh, test your uh, uh, speaker and uh, microphone. If you click the arrow next to the mic, this uh, the message will be pop up where you can select the test speaker and uh, microphone. It will give you an audio uh, test audio. If you are hearing, that means your uh, speaker is working good, and uh, it will then after that it will allow you to speak something. Then you need to say something. Test one, two, three and immediately after that whatever you said you can hear that that means your uh, uh, speaker is working as well as the microphone is also working that's a way to test your um, you know uh, av system most of the time um, you know we get a complaint people used to send come in my audio is not working audio is not working uh, 99 percentage of the time the problem lies with your system only not in the uh, webinar because if you look at now uh, we have 100 people still 100 people are in the webinar they're listening to that and it is working and still i'm getting some messages through chat box saying my audio is not working it because you are not tested your uh, the speaker and microphone please do so before you join the meeting yeah uh, the other features available in the online meeting is breakout rooms uh, when i say breakout rooms it's available in all the application not only in the zoom this is essential for uh, the, the today's context like you know a context uh, having an online contest how we can separate judges into separate room where we can have assign a breakout rooms where only judges will be there and the tally counter will be there they can still be there on the main room at the same time they can have a, a personal discussion in the separate shot which other members or contestant cannot be uh, you know aware about that that's called a breakout rooms that's still possible and uh, switching host if you want to uh, you are conducting a uh, hosting a event suddenly you want to go and you want to switch the host to someone else and similarly the virtual background uh, where you can change the background uh, it is preferable to have a client background if you want to have a virtual background like with the toastmaster logo you can still do that allows the live streaming where you can uh, stream the entire meeting through live where anybody around the world can look at what is happening in your uh, meeting restricting restricting the members to unmute themselves uh, all these options are available in the other features it's it's not necessary but it's better to know so that uh, you will be comfortable when you are hosting an event or a meeting um, you will get to know that you can even remove the attendee if they're not somebody is disturbing the entire audience you can just remove them from the meeting well uh, i have something to share about the general etiquettes about 
yeah, when, whenever we talk about uh, the video conferencing, virtual meeting, and you know, online meetings. Number one is ensure the decent internet connectivity. This is very, very important. As you know that without internet connectivity, you cannot have a successful online meeting. Ensure that you have a good uh, the connectivity. If you are using a mobile net, net data or a Wi-Fi or a direct LAN connection, ensure that you are having a good connectivity without disturbance. That's the number one point. Second thing, test the meeting link at once in your system. As I said in the uh, earlier, it is really, really cool because most of the time, this is the problem we face in the online meetings. You, last moment you get into the link and uh, then sometimes audio will not work, video will not work, you are not able to see the screen. Better to check the system in your, uh, you know, the link in your system, is it working or not? Dress appropriately. <laughs> when I say that, dress appropriately in the sense, at least in the top, uh, you know, present yourself in a good manner. Uh, I'm remembering a cartoon displayed by our Toastmaster Ravindra Rao uh, recently. You know, I'm ready for the uh, online meeting, and uh, he has, you know, wore a coat and suit on the top, bottom nothing is there. Yeah. So uh, at least the top, I can say you 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 represent yourself in a good manner, in a good uh, shirt or a t-shirt or a um, uh, blazer. You should be there. Be aware of your surroundings. Why I'm saying that is when I say a surroundings, uh, when you are in the system uh, or uh, when you're switching on the camera, not only you are in the uh, video, even your surroundings are in the video. Make sure that you are sitting in a place where the background is plain, which is not a disturbance, giving any disturbance to the other audience or speakers. That's a, a general good etiquette. Eliminate background noise. This is also general issue comes out in any of the online meeting uh, people don't unmute themselves or uh, they will be in a public place where the other sound or or in a, in a home uh, situation you know children will be coming in it's all disturbance to the the whole uh, the meeting proceeding so better we should be prepared for that eliminate background noise Mute your mic when you are not talking. That's very important. For this meeting, I have muted everyone by default. You cannot unmute yourself. But in a real time, uh, in a small meeting happens, for example, it, because it is difficult to control 100 people. When you're having a meeting with uh, 10 or 15 people or 20 people, you can uh, uh, give option to the members to mute or unmute themselves. When you're given with that option, make sure that you are muting yourself when you are not speaking. Use earphone with mic. I recommend this very strongly because don't use the computer speaker, especially a computer speaker and mic. Uh, that gives you kind of a echo and it will be highly noisy. Don't use that. Whenever you are attending a meeting, use a, use a earphone and a mic. No food allowed. As a general etiquette, okay, whenever you are attending an online meeting, ensure that you are not. Uh, not others are not ensure that others are not distracted by your action and don't have uh, no having and drinking a coffee tea or uh, even if you're doing it ensure that it is happening in a smooth way it is not disturbing others uh, because people will, will tend to comment something informally and that will disturb the whole meeting proceeding similarly don't eat any food and if you really hungry you want to do something you have option of disable your camera you can disable your camera and do something and you can come back and again it's a multitasking stay seated and stay present this is very important because when we talk about online meeting people take it for granted sometime uh, for attending the meetings uh, through mobiles they keep walking and giving a speech that's not allowed it's not a good way to um the whole objective is to save the time and you can attend uh, wherever you are that doesn't mean that uh, you can just walk and speak stay seated stay if you are using your mobile phone ensure that your mobile phone is fixed with the tripod and uh, it is not shaking and so that the the others are not distracted consider proper lighting yeah uh, ensure that sufficient light light is falling on your face not on the computer or system if you do that what happens the others cannot see your face these are the basic uh, the courtesy and if you are not host stick around if you are the host uh, what i mean here is uh, if you are the host for the meeting ensure that don't no just to close the meeting abruptly when the president uh, says that the meeting is adjourned be there 
ensure all the members are going slowly because every members will take it so they want time and they may be having some questions to ask you after the meeting ensure that is answered if you are if you want to close the meeting for all just a drop a message or a say say, a say everyone saying that i'm going to close the meeting now see you in the next meeting and any questions you can ask me later that's a you know uh, gesture to because it doesn't sound good if you are um, when members are in the meeting you are abruptly closing the meeting remember you have always an option of uh, disabling your audio and video anytime uh, from your system so that you uh, know uh, members are not distracted and we are maintaining the basic etiquettes when you are conducting the meetings and we are giving a good experience meeting experience to the members well i would like to end with a small quote you cannot create experience you must undergo it what i mean here is no matter how many times you are going through a training no matter how many articles you read about online meetings the better way to learn how to conduct an online meeting is you do by your own have a hands on experience and explore different the uh, the tools and make mistakes that doesn't matter no doesn't matter make mistakes learn from that and you, you know show improvement in the next meeting with that i conclude my presentation and uh, i'd like to open the floor for q and a if any one of you having the now i suggest all of you to you uh, know lower your uh, hands one second all of you please you know lower your hand so if you are raising any question then i can uh, unmute you so that you can ask questions we have a hundred members attending this meeting good to see who is asking first question uh toastmaster dtm rangamani ravi i am unmuting you you can ask your question now dtm rangamani okay let me ask dtm sauri rajan is there hi venkat how is it how are you doing yes sir Fine. how are you doing good Jenna. to see you yeah yeah i have done some zoom meetings already yeah but uh, not a uh, I mean uh, training meetings okay about the contest you mentioned yeah. about that uh, breakout room right yeah yeah uh, that you can use for the chief judge and the tally contest yes yes but uh, during the tt contest probably can we use the same facility to there push are the yeah uh, i've just you know this uh, thought about that and i have discussed already with some of our senior toastmasters also in qatar <laughs> uh there are options available what happens is there will be a main room and there will be breakout rooms breakout mm -hmm. rooms with restriction breakout rooms without restrictions also available for example one breakout room only the contestants will be there and mm -hmm. another breakout room only the judges will be there judges will be part of the main room also they can see what is happening in the main room the go. another breakout room the contestant for example uh, the table topics the uh, where the contestants are there we can lock that meeting room uh, whenever the contestant the sequence we are announcing we can just release release one by one so yeah, that they can true. but 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 again technically we need to do a lot of mock exercise because even a small mistake that can lead to a disaster yeah yeah particularly table topic is exactly, uh, exactly, yeah and uh, my personal uh, this thing we should when, whenever we are having an online contest we should limit with the uh, uh international and the humorous but that's my personal thing then we can uh, no but uh, no with the uh, ta's message uh, we cannot conduct no we have come to the division level yeah out of nine divisions in tamil nadu only one division has conducted the eight are yet yeah. to conduct yeah mm. yeah it's a challenge for all of us and now uh, we need to because no one of none of us have uh, never uh, did that kind of we need to sit across all you know, the key people should sit across and uh, discuss how it works we need to do a trial run yeah i made the... one suggestion yes, that sir. for each of the contestant at yeah. his home or wherever he sits yeah. there will be a neutral observer 
Oh, okay. <laughs> so that, that if something possible. goes wrong, the contestant gets the topic before and anything, he can alert. The observer can alert. That's also possible. Possibility. Yeah. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. possible. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. You have done a very yeah. nice thing, sir. Thank you, sir. Thanks for joining. First of all, thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. Uh, I have some questions from Leo. Uh, Leo, I'm unmuting you. You can. Yes, hello. Hi, Leo. Good evening, Good evening Leo. Yes. Uh, can you hear me clearly? Yep. Yeah. 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 Please. Yes. Okay. Actually, this is to address uh, just a suggestion, maybe to address our way of uh, having the gestures and all the things that we can show, because I have seen that uh, whenever we have meetings, we are sitting down. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So what we did during our trial session in Philippines is that I have put the laptop away from me and I have used a Bluetooth headset so that half of my body will be seen on screen so you can still do a little bit of some gestures yeah. and you, you can do that Leo if you can do that yeah instead of just sitting down and then yeah yeah especially the speaker if you want to express correct. themselves more and they can just you know go back stand and uh, have the body language and uh, the movement you can do that all right, that's all. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, thanks, Leo, for that. Yeah. We have some question from Jutim Jay Kumar. Hi. Hi, Jay Kumar. Good evening to all. Uh, wonderful um, training session by Venkat. Thanks. Kudos to you. Uh, I have you, uh, one question. Yeah. This is the polling for the best speaker, best evaluator, best table topic speaker. Yeah. Uh, controls are with the host. Yeah, controls will be with the host. Okay. Secondly, can we have uh, polling for all the three? Yeah, yeah, we can. We can because do n number of n number of polling. Yeah, because yesterday, I mean, the last week when we had the ICTM, yeah. we could handle only one um, polling. We can do n number of polling before starting the meeting. You can get the feedback after the meeting. You oh. can have a big feedback, and uh, in between, after completing one segment of the speech, you can run a poll saying that. But everything you should plan it well in advance. Okay. Once you start the meeting, you cannot add the questions in the poll. Understand? And uh, you said uh, the control is with the host or the yeah controls. Will, yeah, controls will be with the host only to uh, run the poll. Okay, one. Secondly, and about that annotating, yeah, uh, that control is also with the host, or uh, anyone can do it. That that will be with the host and the co-host. Okay, because and today I don't know somebody, someone is using. I don't know who is that. <laughs> I don't. I don't know who is that. Okay. I need to check that. Yeah. Okay, so that so nobody disturbs the meeting. That's why. I true, true, true. I agree with you. Even I was surprised. No, who is doing that? Okay. Let's see. So we have hackers in our Toastmasters. <laughs> Anyway, nice. Uh, it was a nice pro- the thing. It was an uh, evening worth uh, listening to you. Good. Thank you. Uh, so thank much. you. Thank you so much, DTM Jack Moore, for joining. Do we have any other question? Uh, we have uh, no, no, no. Galaxy 8. I don't know who is that Galaxy 8. Ah, uh, that's me. Who is that? Me means? Nivin, Nivin Camel. Sorry. <laughs> hi, hi, Nivin. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing fine. Thank you very much for such an informative uh, webinar. Uh, my question is regarding the uh, the contest again. Yeah. Uh, so now, um, uh, uh, my suggestion is, if you have any question about the contest, we will discuss off late because it has a lot more complications. And uh, as a team, we need to agree upon certain things. Uh huh. Because no one has done so far. Uh huh. Okay. You okay. Understand? Because. Because because I'm I was just wondering uh, uh, because the contestants will uh, will need yeah yeah to as a as a district prepare. now we need to draft yeah. a procedure how uh, online contest has to happen what are the rules how uh, members will be coming everything will happen it takes some time okay okay yeah. so and I have another question it's regarding the 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 visits of the area directors to the yeah. to the club. you can do that. Uh, we do it um, in that case. The area director will just, uh, you know, attend the meeting as an observer. Okay, yeah. uh, but in that case, uh, the, there might be some things happening on the online meeting that are not uh, really related to the to the uh, the form that the area director is using. I mean, some things will not happen during the online meeting. 
Yeah, you can give you a see. Uh, the, now, the recent Toastmaster headquarters announced that uh, the area directors can conduct the uh, club visit through online because when, the, when club meetings are happening in online, you are left with no option. Uh -huh. So okay. you can join the meeting, whatever the observation, whichever the possible way you can suggest the club to improve, you can do it from your capacity. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you. Uh, uh, for Considering the time, I would uh, suggest this would be the last question. Uh, can somebody with Anjali P? Yes. Hi, Anjali. Hi, hi. Can you hear me? Yeah, this will be the last yeah. question. And after, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much for the nice informative session. My yeah. doubt is, um, yeah. as you said, that before meeting, the host can uh, log in. Means, uh, it's yeah. a prerequisite that you can log in 15 minutes yeah. earlier. So yeah. the real time of meeting will start when host logs in. When actual or seven o'clock. Yeah. Will start. yeah. Yeah. Like you know how how it was today. Today, if you look at, I you know open the window uh, 30 minutes before. Mm -hmm. Okay. I you can you know people are listening to the music, so I started okay. the meeting dot seven o'clock. That's it. Okay. Doesn't so the matter. The time will yeah. start at seven to right. Eight, yes, like yes, 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 yes. Okay. Thank you so yeah. much. I will definitely use in my club. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sanjali. Yeah. So considering the time, and uh, I would like to, if you have any questions, you can write to me, and uh, we will answer all the questions. And uh, I take this opportunity to thank all the attendees for taking your time and attending this webinar. I hope it was useful. A recorded version of this webinar will be published in our uh, district website shortly by tomorrow or day after tomorrow. If you have any feedback, as I said, about this webinar, or if you need any help in organizing your club online meetings, please feel free to contact, contact me. I'm at your service. Yep. With that, I would like to hand over to uh, our district admin manager, Pavitra, we have some more proceedings. Over to you, Pavitra. Hi, Pavitra, over to you. Again, sir, thank you, thank you for a very knowledgeable session. We were having 100 participants and uh, sir, a great effort from your side. And uh, District 116, now we have a great person who knows uh, very well how to conduct the uh, online meeting and we can approach him and he is at your service. Thank you so much to Master Vinti. And with that note, I would like to request our District Director, Distinguished Toastmaster Rathwen Menon uh, to adjourn the meeting with few words. Yes, Didi, you are yes. unmuted. Yeah, good evening, fellow Toastmasters. Uh, what we witnessed today uh, is a very informative uh, webinar by Venkat, uh, proper, primarily focusing on how to conduct an online meeting and the do's and don'ts. He explained very well. Thank you very much, Venkat. Now, I request the members and the club XCOM to use these techniques in your club meetings. And club meetings will have exactly like how you have been doing a face-to-face -face meeting. For example, we will meet at 6.45 if the meeting is at 7 and uh, 15 minutes we can do a networking. That could be through the same Zoom. We can do it. And sharp 7, Sergeant at Arms comes on and he explains the ground rule. Then the TMOD comes in, speeches are given, evaluation table topics, and the president closes the meeting. All this happens as like in a normal meeting. So that part. Uh, using these techniques, what is explained here today is what you have to do it. Now, advantages are many, which uh, Venkat has explained in length. But let me tell you one very important advantage, which probably you may be knowing, but those who are not familiar, let me explain. In Pathways, when you're, if you're doing the level four, there is a, an elective project called Manage Online Meetings. So whenever you are doing this, manage the online meeting, you are completing a project. So that is a very important uh, factor. So I, I encourage each and every member to take up this when your turn comes up as the, your level four to do this uh, project. There's only one project to be done in level four. So you will complete this level four with this online meeting, manage online meetings is a project. 
So there's a lot of benefits, and this particular arrangement, what we are talking about, is for, according to TI, is only applicable till June first. It is not a permanent arrangement, so remember that. But at least it's an opportunity for you to learn the new techniques. That is the base, very good part of it. And uh, district also will be forming an online meeting guidance team, uh, who will be helping you in conducting the meetings. If you have any problems, they can help you, and they will also help whether you are following the right uh, good practices uh, uh, while conducting the meeting. So that will help you in. Um, performing better and as per the TI guidelines. So with all this is fine. And about the contest, I saw some questions that I will not answer the questions now, but all I can tell you is the next decum, which is coming up on 20th, that is this Friday, where the XCOM committee will be attending this. They will be share, they'll be seeing some presentation a training from our PQD uh, distributor master Thailand, who will be giving you a glimpse of how the contest has to be conducted online. So from there, then we may have one more webinar on that, a detail for all the members for their understanding. So this is what I want to share. So I think it's the time thing. It's good to see 100 people. And uh, interestingly, our region advisor, distinguished Toastmaster Ali Shahbaz Ali was trying to reach. He couldn't uh, get in. Our PQD, distinguished Toastmaster Thailand couldn't get in. So he also, they are all uh, waiting for the recordings to come. <laughs> So, and unfortunately, what happened, uh, you know, this is my personal ID and we have only 100 limitations that I, right. I apologize to all the members. Yeah, but uh, no issues. We will uh, share with them this recording and if required, we can repeat it once again if the public demand is there. Yeah. I, yeah. I believe today more than 150 people would have joined if uh, it was open. Many people. Are, yeah, true. I'm 100% sure. Anyway, with that, uh, let me... I joined the meeting. Venki, you want to add something to it or otherwise I will... No, thank it. you so much. And I need to just apologize to the members who couldn't be able to make it because of the restriction uh, of uh, 100 members. Uh, usually, you uh, know, every webinar we do, maximum we get uh, 30, 40 members. I thought That's it will not exit. I went a bit pessimistic. And I need apologize for that. Next time we will correct for that. Definitely. Thank you. Okay, with that, uh, goodbye and uh, good night. Goodbye. To all. Thank you so much, uh, Didi for your support and thank you uh, uh, to Master Pavitra for your support. Thank you to all the district leaders and the members for making this event successful. Thank you so much. Any doubts, you can send it to me offline. I'm, um, I'm happy to answer you all your queries. Thank you so much. Yeah. I can see Galaxy S7 now. I can see Toastmaster Nizar. Hi, Toastmaster Hashim. I can unmute all. Speak. Good, good, good. Hi, Venkat. Uh, Hi. This is a problem when you unmute, unmute. You will listen to all these stories, offline stories. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. All right, let's see in the next meeting. Yeah, sure, thank you. Okay, and you guys switch off the mic.